Welcome to Guns, Games, and Gadgets channel. This is your host, Henry. In today's video, I will be showing you guys some tips on how to survive a short-term disaster. So, let's get into it. When I mean by short-term disaster, I mean by example of what's going on in Texas. Hurricanes, tornadoes, fires... Stuff like that, terrorist attacks, stuff like that, that is a short-term disaster and things will go back to normal, hopefully, in a short period of time within one to two months, give or take. So that's what we're going with today. First off, you will need these essential items to survive during the disaster. So one, you need food, two, water, shelter, power, heat, slash air conditioning. So let's get into the video. Number one is water. Water is essential. It's the most important item that you should have at all times because you can only live three days without it. You can do many things with it. The most important is drinking it. You can use it to make stuff, cook with, you can boil it to sterilize it. Also, when you're sterilizing water to purify it, you can use aqua tabs, you can use bleach, or you can invest in a $500 water filtration system, which I think is worth the, the money. Me personally, I don't have one, but like I said, water is the most important thing in your preps. You need it all the time. Number two is food. You want non-perishable food, such as dehydrated food, as you see here. You do not want food that requires refrigeration, so as freezer, freezing. When stuff, when something happens, you want to eat your refrigerated food, slash freezer food before you get to the non-perishable food. Also, you want to stock up a pantry with canned food. Canned food can last for years and years and years. Dehydrated food can last up to 25 to 50 years. You also want to have your plain Jane beans and rice. If you cannot afford dehydrated food, it's uh, plain Jane beans and rice will get the job done and it will help you survive. You also want to throw in some herbs as well for you can have for your food can taste a little bit better. So like I said, eat your perishables before you go to your non perishables. If you do if you do not eat your perishable food, it will spoil and you will waste a lot of calories. So Eat that and then come to the non-perishable and make sure you ration it by family member because each people, every family is different. You got family that's bigger than other families. So make sure you stock up on this now for you want to deal with the panic later. So that's the food portion, guys. Number three is shelter. Now, with this part, there's a disaster that's happening right now in Texas, a snow disaster, everything's cut off, the power's cut off, basically, and a lot of people are freezing to death, so what I'm going to do is show y'all some things that y'all could use to stay warm in your homes if the power is shut off, so let's get to it. So, first off, I prefer you to go and get emergency blankets. You can obviously use those to stay warm and you can also use them to cover your windows. Basically where, where all the cold air is lingering, you want to cover up all your windows. Obviously the windows got to be closed. Just tape it around your windows. Also your doors and anywhere else where you know this cold lingering, you want to patch that up and that should reduce 
um, the cold from coming in by a lot. So emergency blankets also, um, you know, in case this happens again, you want to invest in a some type of power battery. With the power battery, you can also use that and have a portable heater. You can use the heater, obviously, to warm up the main part of your house. And with the battery, with the power battery, you want to make sure it's charged up at all times. You know, for the next time this happens anywhere, you can have power for a short period of time. And if you want to go even farther, you can have solar panels hooked up to your roof or somewhere outside where you can charge that power battery and you can be good to go with heat in your home. So that's what I'm um, suggesting to you guys. And also with the disaster happening, you want to have security. So that means you want to go and get a firearm and ammunition and learn how to use that gun and make a plan in case someone God forbid, breaks into your home and you have to defend yourself and your family. So you want to have security. So you want to make sure your house is warm, house apartment is warm, and you want to make sure um, everyone is safe. So you want to make sure you have the tools to protect yourself and your family. And also with your, your firearms, you want to make sure you take as much training if you can can afford it and just watch a lot of videos like mine about firearm safety if you're new to firearms and if you want your kids to learn how to shoot make sure you train them and make sure they know what's right and what's wrong and everyone should be all right because with when it comes to firearms and safety you want to make sure you don't give these politicians more ammunition to try to take away that Second Amendment right that we all have as an Americans. So stay safe with, with your firearms. Make sure you go out and train. Don't just get, get a gun and leave it in the drawer and let it rest. You want to train with that firearm. Make sure it's cleaned up. Make sure everything's good to go and make sure you have a plan. And if someone comes in your house, you should be good to go for the most part. If you know the government comes in the house, or well, they try, don't answer the door. Say that I don't need you because I prepared for this. That's why I'm making this video. Finally, at number four, we have lighting slash air conditioning. I'm going to go with the air conditioning first. It's basically the same as the heater process. It's just it's summer instead of winter. And your power is out and something happened. And you want to use your power bank to plug in to your well your air conditioner to plug into the power bank and voila you got cool air just make sure you put coolant and stuff in your air conditioners and make sure you have more than one you also want to have more, more than one of those power banks as well like i said make sure you leave them charged up prior if you don't and if somehow something happens if you got a solar panel, then you should be fine, especially in the summertime. So we're going with the lighting. You don't have no power and you can use handheld light bulbs that's rechargeable and or candles or and stack them around your, your house. Make sure you blow the candles out at nighttime before you go to bed because you can set your house on fire and that's not good but with the lighting it'll have a, a nice charge for like about 10 to 12 hours it's a little portable lights and you set, you set them around make sure you have them all charged up in the day uh, before nighttime and use that uh, battery bank to charge them up and you should be good to go with lighting for the most part so you want to make sure you have several of those you want to make sure you have a lot of candles and also flashlights, you want to have a lot of flashlights. Make sure those are all charged up. And you should be good to go. When it's all said and done, and when everything goes back to normal, you should be all right for the most part. 
And then also, I want to give you a side note. Make sure you don't tell everyone about your preps. Because if you tell people about your preps, and if something happened, if they ain't prepared, who you think they who do you think they're gonna be coming to first? Your ass. Begging for you for food and water and stuff after you didn't told them to get prepared. So make sure you tell, like you can tell people, but make sure you can trust them. So, but it's up to you if you want to or not. But I'm just making sure. I'm just giving you a precaution because shit can go south very fast if you deny them of food and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing. And make sure you hit that notification bell. If I missed out anything in the video, or probably did, knowing me, make sure you mention them in the comments below. Or I can know what I missed and make sure if you guys want to have a conversation about things make sure it's nice you know make sure you're not being mean to anyone so anyway I hope you guys stay safe be aware of your surroundings carry a gun get prepared and as always have a nice day and another